Hello friends and beautiful people. It is Catherine Massell, Conscious Creatrix and Elevated Consciousness Coach. Hi, today we're talking about your post-ascension shift blueprint. If you have not done so already, please hit subscribe and subscribe to this channel. And go ahead and hit the notifications button too so that you can see my uploads as soon as they are put on my page and my channel. So I want to talk real quick about your post ascension shift blueprint and how we have actually a lot of different blueprints for being, but when we decided to incarnate, we had two blueprints and especially for this timeline of earth at this time, we knew we'd be incarnating here in an ascension timeline. And we had two blueprints at the outset. So really many of us have already shifted in our post ascension blueprint for being, we're just not embodying it. We are accessing it, but we're doing it on an unconscious level. So this blueprint for our entire way of being holds all the paths and agreements for growth based on a 5D perspective, based on a higher elevated consciousness perspective. Because you don't know that you're holding this post shift blueprint or you already have access to it for a completely expanded way of being, you are still acting on contracts and alignments to a higher expression of you that are just not, that you're not fulfilling yet. So if you're still playing with the rules of 3D engagement, then you are playing the game of separation. You're playing the game of duality, the game of lack, poverty consciousness. Daily, you are integrating polarizing frequencies of being by juggling your focus from heart to head, heart to head, over and over and over again. Instead of moving your energy into the heart center, which is basically your multidimensional operating system, okay? And it very is, very much is the multidimensional operating system in 5D and levels of consciousness beyond that. Everything comes from the heart. Everything is heart-centric. This is the operating center, your higher heart, your multidimensional operating system. This is the operating center that acts like a battery, powering your sustained momentum into expanded ways of being where your inner technology of thought, emotion, and your genetic memory creates new agreements, new contracts, new paths and alignments at an elevated frequency, at an elevated level of awareness. So the birthing process of this new blueprint is already underway. And it can be quite challenging for us in a number of ways, but primarily to the degree that you are resisting this process of growth, of accessing fully and embodying this higher timeline for yourself, you will find yourself to be increasingly uncomfortable to the degree that you're resisting this new level of growth. And you will feel like you are pushing yourself into elevated consciousness. And the reason it feels like a push is because in your mind, you're saying, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. When am I going to get there? <laughs> what do I have to clear? What do I have to become in order to get there? So it feels like this push. And that's when you're in your head. And that's where your mentality kind of, you know, is fighting itself and you can feel at war with yourself. But if you shift your focus to the heart, you realize, I'm already accessing this blueprint. I'm already stepping into this higher level of awareness. I'm already feeling the expanse, the, the inner technology of who I am in terms of a 5D being, in terms of an elevated consciousness being. I'm already playing out certain things where I feel more compassion for others. I feel more understanding, more mercy, more forgiveness. I feel more connected to other people on the planet. So moving away from this feeling of pushing means you take your energy out of your head and you put it into your heart. This feels so hard. This feels like we're pushing because you are already in the flow of this blueprint, but your mind is still thinking as the old you. It's still working on this old operating system of you and it's still in the habit of thinking as the old you. So this is your polarity again coming in and showing itself in a very fierce uh, way. So all of your energy is going to being in resistance when you are feeling this pushing, okay? 
And this is not your natural state. As an ascended being, an infinite being who's playing out the game of 3D reality here right now, you are really playing this game of resistance, playing this game of duality and polarity, and we're doing it very, very well. And the reason we're doing it very well is because we're so practiced at it here in 3D reality. All of your energy is going to being in resistance, and this is not your natural state. Your natural state as an infinite being is to be in flow. And so when you are not in flow, this takes a physical and an emotional and a mental toll on your entire way of being, okay? So a lot of us feel exhausted. And the reason we feel exhausted is because when we're in this place, here's where we're siphoning off our energy. And instead of being present with the now, because when we're in this place of pushing, the now is a very uncomfortable place to be. So we want to do anything but be in the now. So this is where we begin to siphon off our our creator energy being. We feel at the end of our tether with this ascension process because of the pushing. And we place our energy in either fantasizing about a better future or glorifying something that may have been pleasurable in our past, okay? Neither of these places in time, or what we think of as these places in linear time, allows us to focus our ability to change our reality. It's not a creative state. The only place where creation takes place is in the now moment. Only in the now moment is creation possible. But if we're caught up in the drama and the polarity of what's painful and challenging right now, because you're hiding information from yourself essentially by not being in the now moment, you're hiding information from yourself by perceiving reality through the filter of ego, separation, and lack. And we always do that when we are fantasizing about the future or glorifying something in the past. And then when we're doing that, we avoid the now moment, like the plague, because we think of the now moment as something that's painful, because again, we're in that place of pushing. So do you see the paradox? Do you see and understand how we hold the polarity within us? And it's not something out there that's doing this to us. We have turned our own intelligence on ourselves, and we feel like Oftentimes we're at war with ourselves, but we feel actually or perceive this as something outside of us causing us to feel at war with something when in fact it's our own intelligence that we're allowing to turn against us. So the blueprint that you are holding when you do this, think of this as your level one blueprint. Okay, Remember I talked about at the beginning of this as there are two blueprints that were assigned to us coming into this timeline of Earth. We, it's a very, very unique time to be alive on Earth because we have access to this incredible ascension timeline where everything is shifting, everything is changing. And it's not just here on planet Earth. It's everywhere. It's in the multiverses. It's affecting every planet, every galactic system. Um, all stellar perspectives are being um, affected by these changes and these shifts. It's a very interesting timeline that we agreed to take, to take part in. Many of us volunteered to come here for this experience, this grand experiment of planet Earth on this time. And even though it doesn't feel like an exciting time to be alive sometimes, it actually really, really is, especially if you can, again, move that attention and focus from the head and into the heart. You'll feel it as a, as a very different experience then. So think of this blueprint that you're holding when you're in this place of pushing. Okay, like, when am I going to ascend? When am I going to get there? There is no there. Remember, it's not a location, it's a vibration. Okay, it's something that we align with, not a place that we go to. So the blue planet you're holding when you do all this pushing, that's your, think of it as your level one. Your level one of this human experience. This first blueprint that was assigned to you. This is where you veil information from yourself to stay in polarity, to stay in duality, because... The game is fun on a certain level. The infinite part of you thinks that this game is fun <laughs> of polarity and duality, believe it or not. And this is where you veil information from yourself, staying in polarity, staying in duality, and you play the game of holding much lower frequencies that you have long outgrown, meaning you are ready to access higher frequencies. You're ready to access and embody the fullness of your level two blueprint. But in a way, because you want to keep playing the game, you're veiling this information from yourself. So your level two 
this other blueprint, this higher level consciousness blueprint that was also assigned to you or you chose, let's just say, here in this lifetime. This is where you shift awareness to access all information available to you at the soul level. And your entire way of being is powered by the battery of your multidimensional operating system of the higher heart. And so what does this look and feel like? Okay, well, at this level two, you honor your power as the shaper of all, the shaper and creator being of every aspect of your experience. Now you are doing this, whether you're in your level one or your level two, it's just that when you're in your level one, again, we're veiling this information from ourselves about where we're perceiving high, higher timelines and where all this is available, all this information is available to us. But information is only useful to us and it's only as good to us to the degree that we're able to apply it, right? Otherwise, you know, we can have information coming out of everywhere, but it doesn't matter if we don't have anywhere to practically apply it, to tangibly use it, okay? Because information is only good to us, especially as we move through this trajectory of Ascension timelines, if it is, if it is experiential, okay? So that means a full body experience, mind, body, and soul. And it also means our multidimensional perspectives have access to it. So us in 3D, us in 4D, 5D, 6D, 7D, and beyond, okay? Information is only good to us if we can access that at all levels, at all perspectives of our multidimensional awareness. So what does this look and feel like when we're in this level two? Well, you honor your power as the shaper of all, the shaper and creator of your as every aspect of your experience, okay? And you're doing this even in level two, you're just not aware of it. You're able to redefine and then refine to an essence your entire way of being based on your particular design, based on directing and creating your intention for a way of being. You're challenging the paradigm of old inner power structures, the old inner technology that tells you who you are. You're challenging, you're questioning all of that. This is good, even though it can be confusing at the outset. When you get used to that level of questioning, you realize that there are no answers really, but opportunities when you begin to question the old belief systems that you held so strong and fast to, everything opens up when you start to question those beliefs, when you start to move out of even the good beliefs, when you start to question them or challenge them, you realize that just opens doors for new opportunities for new ways of being. Where, the, where you thought the mind maybe was in control or even your emotions were in control of your entire experience, all of this gets brought up to the surface for self-exploration and self-examination. And this is a wonderful place to be, even if it doesn't always feel that way, but it feels that way because you're still stuck in level one. When you're in this level two blueprint, your post-ascension blueprint, you begin to decipher your unique coding of healing. We all have a coding for healing. We all have a coding for upgrading. We all have a coding for movement into the fullness of life. This becomes more real, tangible to you. It becomes something you, you kind of know on a cellular level and you can appreciate and honor it and flow with that. You have this understanding of your coding of your unique genetic design. Your unique genetic design is your particular thread or your expression of who you are as source being, okay? And this particular expression has a higher coding of health, a higher coding of wealth, a higher coding of, and a deepened understanding of the matrix which holds all constructs and possibilities and opportunities for ways of being that were not vibrationally available to us before in level one because this was veiled to us. Because we weren't in a frequency to get it, see it, know it, feel it, hear it. And you manifest also in level two and direct your creations in 3D from the perspective of your highest good and the highest good of all. Because remember, now you're in the operating system of your multidimensional heart center, okay? This is where you see all possibilities for all people. Okay, and this is, this really informs your perspective on creating your desires into manifest form because you're not just thinking about yourself anymore, you're thinking about the good and the highest good of all, okay? Changes your manifesting game entirely, okay? 
and it changes things quickly because when you're manifesting at this higher level perspective, time moves differently when we are accessing higher frequencies. And what we perceive of as time here in 3D moves much faster at higher frequency ways of being. So when you're manifesting from a timeline that's a higher timeline, to bring things into manifest form in 3D, they can show up really quickly because time moves quickly in higher frequency energies. You also have the vantage point, as like I mentioned just a second ago, you have the vantage point of a variety of perspectives because you are standing in the power of your multidimensional super conscious level of awareness. So you see yourself as a creator and a shaper of all, but you see yourself as just one thread of the expression of all humanity, all consciousness, really, the one mind, the universal field. You see yourself as a creator and shaper of all parts of your reality, able to direct your intentions and your desires at will because you no longer see yourself as just an, an individual, you know, through the filter of ego, but rather as one expression of source, one thread of source. And in that way, and in that perspective, you tend to act more responsibly as a frequency holder of the all, the one all. This is a powerful shift, and this changes everything. And so these examples are really only a snapshot of what is possible for you in your level two or your post-ascension shift blueprint of human experience. This is where you embody what your five-dimensional, six-dimensional awareness is all about. You have a better understanding of what it means to live at the level of unity consciousness from your multi-dimensional heart-centered perspective. And even this level, this level two, is just a stage in your expansion process because we keep expanding into more and more of our level two. Or you could say you're going on to level three or level four or level five. But it, this is the most important one, this level two shift, because it is where you decide it's where you decide and you make the choice to no longer be trapped in the exhausting pattern of, of separation, of illusion, of duality, of polarity, of victimhood, okay? It's where you decide to empty yourself of all that you are not so you can make yourself vibrationally available for the limitless expanse of possibility and your greatest potential for being yet, okay? So you got to ask yourself, are you ready for this level too? Are you ready to empty yourself of all that you are not? Because what is really the invitation that the universe is putting in front of us right now is it's asking us, okay? It's not testing us. The universe doesn't test us. The universe testing us would imply that the universe has judgment. It doesn't. Humans have judgment because we have ego, okay? And one of the biggest shifts to transcending out of this victimhood, ego filter perception of reality is losing judgment. That's a huge part of it, okay? Because when you lose that vibration, you are a better match for the frequencies of 5D and beyond because there's no judgment there, okay? And so what's really, really important about this shift is asking yourself, am I ready for level two? Am I ready to empty myself of all that I am not, okay? So there's a, there's a couple ways to do that. Um, and I'm gonna share a few with you here. One of them is to do private mentorship with me. The other one is to join the Consciousness, Consciousness Mechanics Program, which is sharing eight technologies for crossing that bridge, creating a pathway or passageway for moving out of this 3D blueprint of our level one and into the blueprint, our post ascension shift blueprint of 5D and level two, that's my eight week program coming up on September 19th. But I'm also gonna give you a link to something in the membership vault. I have a VIP membership vault um, and the link is here in my YouTube page, but I'm also gonna share it in the in the link below, in the description below, where you get to connect into Mother Creatrix energy, okay? This is the best way to bridge your consciousness into being in the energy of 5D, being the expansiveness of the universal field of intelligence, the womb of cosmic creation, I call it, and it is a guided meditation. Now you can do a couple things with this guided meditation. You can use it to empty yourself of some emotions that you are aware of right now that are the driving force in your life. Maybe you're not making any money in your life right now and this is really hurting you where you live. Literally, it's, it's keeping you in a survival state mode of consciousness you may have some shame wrapped up in there or guilt 
A lot of times we're just not making money, we're not getting ahead financially or moving towards being financially independent. It's because we're holding on to shame and guilt. You may want to empty yourself of these emotions into the mother creatrix void that's created with this guided meditation that I'm going to give you the link to. You may also want to upgrade into an elevated way of being. Maybe you've done a, a huge process of emptying yourself of all that you are not, and maybe you're ready to bring information in. You've emptied yourself of what you are not, so you are making yourself more vib vibrationally available for higher frequency energies to come in. What would those be? Maybe you want to anchor in more compassion. Maybe you want to anchor in more understanding, more forgiveness for yourself, for others. You can also do that in this space. But the universe requires us to be available for this level two post ascension shift blueprint to first empty ourselves of all that we are not. So if you know that you are still holding on to some very limited ways of being, thinking, feeling, some belief systems or lower thought forms that you know you need to divest yourself of finally and completely, this is a beautiful energetic space in which for you to do that. So if you are interested in that, the link is gonna be in the description below. A little bit more explanation about consciousness mechanics is gonna be there. Again, we start at 10 a.m. Pacific time in the live program, September 19th. This is an eight week program learning the tools and technologies of 5D consciousness and learning how to activate and apply them into our 3D being right now. There is a book and companion program. And also there, is two, there are two spots available for private mentorship with me if you are interested in that. And there is an application and interview process involved in that. So I wanna wish you all so much love and peace. Until next time, bye-bye.